Hello everyone, my name is Abiola David and I'm super excited to bring you this amazing video on a new feature that just came into Fabric today and that is called mirroring. In November of 2023, the mirroring was announced and of course today it's now in public preview. So basically it allows us to copy data in a near real time from databases or data warehouses right into Fabric one lay. And one of the benefits is that you can replicate data in a near real time without performing any complicated ETS setup. And of course, the mirroring starts immediately with the snapshot and keeps your data synchronized with every changes you make. And of course, you can keep track of your databases securely within Fabric without having to juggle between different databases. And of course, you don't even need to install any software on your computers. So I'm going to show you in this video how we can mirror data in Snowflake database and then how we can interact with the data. Therefore, let's get started. I'm going to come to the Snowflake website and of course, you can click on this um, start for free. So you can actually create a 30 days account worth 400 of free usage. So you can just type in all your details in it. And then once you're done, you can just type in some jargons. And then for the email, I'm just going to say, okay, at gmail.com. All right. And then you can choose any company name. And then you can choose a role. I'm going to choose BI analyst. And then choose your country. Scroll down and then click on continue. And you can choose your Snowflake edition that is standard enterprise business critical so you can choose anyone so you can just go with this um, default enterprise and of course you can choose your cloud provider so you can choose the microsoft azure amazon web services google cloud platform and then once you click on this just click on get started so you're going to get an email that's going to ask you to authenticate your account and then you're going to get your server name so i actually have everything set up initially so i can show you how we can actually start creating warehouse and then we can create database and of course create tables now in this view we have to the left panel the project the data data product monitoring admin now in the project we have the worksheet now the worksheet basically allows you to write and execute queries in your database and of course when you come to the data we can see the databases so we can see this default database anyway. Now I'm going to come to the project and click on the worksheet. Now I can click on this plus sign to create a new worksheet. So I can create SQL worksheet or Python. So let's go with the SQL. Okay. Now we can also see the object in the databases. So we're going to write some field code to create our warehouse and then we're going to create a database and then we can use database, create table and insert some records into the table. So I'm going to say or use the create um, warehouse keyword and i can give it a name i'm going to call it um fabric wh for warehouse and then we can execute the query there we go this is created nicely and then we want to create a fabric database so i'm going to say create database and i'm going to call it a um, fabric db for database and then we can go on and select and then click to execute and there we go so it's created now we can use the database i can say use fabric database i just created so fabric um, db and then we can run the code there we go so successfully executed now we can go on and create table and of course insert record into the table and then we can interrogate the data so i've got some scripts here already established so i'm going to scroll up and i'm going to copy this script to create sales table and i'm going to come back to the web and i'm going to put in a semicolon here i'm going to put in a semicolon and then control v to paste so basically we'll create a sales table with the order dates the order year the product product payment type unit price and the sales amount and you can see the data types so i'm going to select oops i'm going to select the query or the code and then execute lovely table cells successfully created and you can even play around with the interface of the worksheet you can click on this to close this panel you can just expand you can also close the query um, code the code close that and you can expand and you can even um, close all these ones to the bottom here okay so let's just go back so those are some of the few stuff we can do okay so we can see now basically we have the database created but 
we have to click on this ellipsis and then refresh and then we can see the fabric db database okay nice and easy and i'm going to come here and we want to insert some records i'm going to select down to this okay so we're going to insert this other part later on so ctrl c and we add over and i'm going to come here and ctrl v so i'm going to scroll up a little bit and um, select all the records and then run i can even press ctrl enter and that's going to execute the insert statement so i'm going to wait there we go number of rows inserted so i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to write a simple select star from sales so Okay, so we can see sales as a table, and I can put in a semicolon. I can go on and run the code. Amazing. Okay, so we can see we have all um, the records inserted, just like few records. Okay, we are done. I'm gonna add over to the Synapse Data Warehouse tab. Now, basically, I've got a demo fabric mirroring workspace created, and of course, we can see the data warehouse selected in the fabric workload okay so now this is the amazing new stuff mirrored snowflake you can even mirror azure sql database or azure cosmo db so let's just focus on the snowflake okay and i'm going to call it um snowflake mirror all right and then click on create so we're going to wait for some maybe few seconds and okay so of course i've actually you know, created all this before so I'm, I'm going to show you how to create a new connection okay so i'm going to click on this new connection and uh, basically you need your server name and the warehouse name so in the email you're going to receive when you create a new account you're going to see your um server name so this is my own server name i'm going to come back here and i'm going to paste here okay and then for the warehouse name so you have to give the name of the warehouse not the name of the database so i'm going to come back here and of course i'm going to scroll up so if you don't um as you're following along we have this fabric wh as the warehouse name i'm going to copy that and control v and you can just give anything you like so let's call it a um, snowflake okay warehouse okay and then we're going to provide your username so when you created your account you're actually going to create a username so i'm going to use mine which is abiola david01 and then the same password that i use when i create my snowflake account and then click on connect okay so we are in the next uh, page so we have the connection settings and then we're going to wait for the databases to be deployed and we can we can select now don't forget the name of our uh, database is fabric db and which is holding the sales table so i'm going to come back there and uh, click on this uh there we go so we have the fabric db amazing cool stuff and then we can click on connect and then we can click on mirror data okay so we're going to wait for this um to be mirrored and then we move on so interrogating the data in the SQL endpoint. Okay, you can see mirrored snowflake is starting. So I'm just going to wait for that to be completed. So I'm going to click on monitor replication. So when I click on that, and then we can see the snowflake mirror, and then we can see monitor mirrored database, and we can see status it's running. And then we can set the source snowflake wh and of course i can see my name and of course it's going to give us the snowflake so we have the database that we created in the snowflake called the fabric db and then the destination is the snowflake mirror in this case it's going to be the warehouse in microsoft fabric and then we can see the mirror um, database id and then we can see the tables we have this the, um, the schema the public schema and we have the sales table name and then we go, we can see the status running, and then we have 10 records inserted. Okay, of course, you can see when I come here, because we have 10 records, that is absolutely matching. Lovely, it's matching. Okay, so that's done. I can close this for now, and then our data is mirrored. Lovely. I can come here and switch to SQL Analytics Endpoint to interrogate the data. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, and then I'm going to wait. Okay, lovely. So we can see public underscore sales <laughs> and then we're going to wait for the data there we go we have all the 10 records absolutely amazing so 
it match with the same number of records we inserted. Absolutely cool. And then we can go on and you know run queries against the table. So let's say we want to select um, star from, and I can even pull and drag across here, and then I can select the query and click on run. And um, there we go. We can see all the queries, and we can keep on um, integrating data. Okay, okay. So in this case, we have ten records, isn't it? Ten records. I'm going to come back to my script. I'm going to actually add more of these um, insert statements. I'm going to copy all of them, and then come to the Snowflake, and I'm going to scroll down. Now, in order not to actually um, add all this record again, I'm going to delete all this. Or let me select everything from here. Okay. Well, I'm going to delete everything and then I'm going to control V to paste and then I want to select everything up to the last point and then insert all these new records and then I'm going to wait for the insert statement to be executed. Okay, there we go. So we can go on and I'm just going to delete this for now. Okay, or let me just select all of them and then delete. Okay, so we can go on and write a select star from um, sales okay and then we can run the query and execute lovely so we have more records i can scroll down now let's count all of them so i'm going to scroll down i can use the count function here so i'm going to count okay and then open the bracket and then i'm going to close the bracket and then okay so we can go on and select how many records so we have 25 records okay lovely I'm going to add over to my Synapse data warehouse. Now, all I need to do is to go on and refresh. So I can just come here in the schema and then refresh. Okay, so that's been refreshed. And then we wait. Okay, I can go on and let's count how many records we have here now. So let's count. Okay, it's still going. Okay, done. So I can go on and run. The query and there we go so you can see it's increased from um, 10 to 25 records and that's lovely so this is basically how we can mirror our database in snowflake in microsoft fabric using the new mirrored snowflake so i trust you enjoyed this video if you do please like share with your friends and comment thank you for watching bye for now